Welcome back, everyone. Joining me now is Michael Bergman with Bassett Hounds of Rescue of Alabama, an organization aimed at providing forever homes for these adorable, you can't see her yet, but these four-legged friends. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. And I know that we have a little cute little six-year-old Frida here Frida, joining us. Yes, ma'am. How yes, adorable is she? Yes. So tell me a little bit about Frida. Uh, Frida is... Uh, Six, seven-year-old, little female. Uh, she is heartworm positive, so she's got a little bit of that to work through. But she uh, came to the rescue from South Alabama, and we're getting her all patched up and ready to go to a, a great home. It's always that we were talking during the break, you know, saying the hashtag adopt, don't shop. Mm -hmm. How can people get involved in adopting a dog okay. from you guys? Uh, from us, uh, you know, you, you go to our website, uh, bhral.org. Uh, and you can look at some of the dogs we've got, some of the process that goes on. Um, we're on Pet Finder. We've got an adopt pet presence. And so it's really a matter of, of looking around and, and finding a dog. And if, if Freed is not your type, we've, get, we've had, I think we've got about 10 dogs mm -hmm. in our program right now, in our organization. Yeah. And so if, if Frida isn't your short and droopy type, then there may be another of them. Um, and this is what I want to touch on this really quickly. Um, yeah. The importance of adopting. Mm -hmm. I think we were talking about that instead of shopping. Yeah. There's, there's, you know, there's, there's huge, we're, we're talking regularly about shelters being overpopulated and overcrowded, and there's just so much of, 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 of an inventory, of a volume. Uh, and so looking to adopt is, is really effective. Plus, the advantage of getting an older dog like mm -hmm. Frida is that you know her temperament. She's not running around being crazy. She's been nice and calm and quiet for y'all this has, morning. She has, yes. Um, I've barely even heard her make a peep. So, I mean, you get that sort of, you, you understand what their personality is like. What events do you guys have coming up? Do you have any coming up that people absolutely, need to know about? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, February the 13th, um, we're doing our, uh, our Bassets and Bubbles dog wash at Whole Dog Market over in Homewood. Um, we'll be there from 11 until 3, and, and BHRA volunteers will be there washing dogs. Uh, you, you come in, you, you pay the, the fee. It's, uh, it's a $15 donation, um, and we'll wash your dog for you. We'll get them cleaned up. You can meet some of us, Aww. some of the, the fosters, and uh, pick up some BHRA merchandise and just have a great Valentine's Day. Get the dog all Absolutely. cleaned up for their hot day. Quickly, yes. how can people get in touch with you? Absolutely. Um, our website is bhral.org. Uh, you can email info at bhral if you're looking for specific information. We're on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and we're, we're trying to take over the Internet. All right, perfect. Well, if you want a little cutie like this one right here, just get in touch with them, little Frida. She was really good. She was. Thank you so much, Michael Bergman, guys, with uh, Bassett Hounds of Alabama. Just go to our website. We're going to have much more on this, and you can find out there how you can go about adopting. Well,